hello folks and uh welcome to uh the relaxed mill and as you can see i'm getting really relaxed over here at the route 66 park uh in uh good old canoe oklahoma so anyhow all right so talking more about still about goals we are uh by the time this one comes out i'm sure that we are well into uh 2019 so even if you are late making your goals don't sweat it man you are all right um and we are lopsided <laughs> Everybody, hello and welcome to Relaxed Mel. And uh, we're probably when this is being released, I'm sure we're probably well into 2019. But I wanted to go ahead and still talk about goals because goals are important for you to be able to find the success you want. So um, there's a lot of ways uh, when it comes to goals that um, that we can end up. Flubbing our, uh, flubbing our whole intentions up. Um, because what happens is down the road, we end up forgetting what it is, uh, we end up forgetting what it is that we were setting our goals for. Uh, most of the time our problems are, I am, I'm wanting to, you know, wanting to get these particular uh, goals met and achieved, but what happens is uh, about February, March or so, all of a sudden your whole line of thinking of and and life takes over. Uh, you fall into the uh, into the the uh, the river of life, and whoosh, down the road you go before you even have a chance to go. Wait. So what uh, what are some ways that you can actually um, remember your goals? What are some ways that systems that you can put into place to ensure that your goals are going to be met as you're wanting them to uh to be met all right so we have a set of goals babe you know, with it being just in the beginning of, of january we were we know the goals are are still percolating in the back of your mind but how do we keep it from setting in the back of the mind not getting the sunlight that it needs, withering and dying because we've forgotten about how to water it, to actually putting it out, where can we put it so that it gets the sunlight, gets the attention that it needs so that that goal blossoms and becomes this giant tree of success. This, uh, that whole, the whole means of being able to do that um, is not actually near as hard as you want to think it is. There are actually five different ways that you can actually help maintain and achieve your goal. There are about five different ways that you can actually maintain your goal. You can set yourself up so that as you're doing, as you're going, to going through life, you're also able to keep in mind that your, uh, your goals are still setting there. They're still waiting to be met and you can actually keep working towards achieving them. Um, and that's what we want to talk about today. So we're just going ahead and let's get rolling. Um, the first way to remember your goal is to just write it down and not just on the computer. Don't and, and call it good. Get a piece of paper, get a spiral notebook, something so that you can physically write that down with a with a pen so as you write this down you're actually you're actually transferring your thought into a physical goal there are studies that have shown that people who write their goals down are a lot more successful there was a I believe in uh, might have been Harvard Business School uh, Harvard or one of the Ivy League schools anyhow <laughs> They went off and actually took the time to study this, uh, whether or not goals help and whether uh, writing your goals down actually helps. And the, uh, 
what they did is they took a set of, a, a group of kids, uh, college students, and they asked them, "Do you write goals down?" No. All right. They were in a group. And they had, "Do you write goals down, or do you uh, do you set goals?" And the, another group said, "Yes." And uh, they asked, "Okay, do you set uh, do you write show those goals that you set down?" And they said, "No." And so that became another group. And so you had three groups. You had those who don't set goals, those who do set goals but don't write them down, and then there was the those who set goals and and write them down and checked on them in 10 years. From that time, 10 years down the road, the ones who um, didn't set goals, they were kind of the base group. And they, and they were like, all right, so they all kind of progressed about the same, uh, same level when it comes to financial success. But the ones who wrote, or uh, ones who actually set goals, they actually improved about 50%, 49 to 50%, uh, did 49 to 50% better than the control group, which are the people who didn't write any goals, uh, didn't have any goals and didn't set any. But the folks who actually went down, had their goals, wrote their goals down uh, and, and uh, pursued them that way, actually blew the doors off of everybody else they were 94 percent they were paid 94 percent uh or 94 percent of the uh of this those uh of all the how does that go they were paid twice as much as what the rest of the group was and there was only like you know 18 percent of the of the group so it was a really small amount that actually got paid uh twice as much as everybody else in the in the study group i completely botched that up but anyhow you got the gist of what i was what i was going for so write your goals down you find a, you decide you want what goals you want write them down give it the due date everything that deals with the smart goal if you're doing smart goals uh set it out if you're wanting to do the sprint goals like i talked in the previous uh, uh, uh video then you want to make sure that you uh you lay it out for your month, for your quarter, for your month, for your week. You want to break the, break it all down. How are you going to get from place A to place B for each section of, of that particular sprint? Um, so when you write those goals down, you can you'll be a, a you're setting your you're already getting yourself set at a. a in a better position for you to be able to succeed. Now, now the second goal, or means of being able to remember your goal, is works if you do daily affirmations. Now, not everybody does daily affirmations, and that's, that's okay, but if you do, this little tip will help you out tremendously. Take your goals. Uh, the whole SMART goal, I am going to lose 20 pounds by December 31st, uh, 2019. Um, and put that in your affirmation list so that every day when you're reading your, out your affirmations to yourself in the mirror or as you're going down the road, you have, by December 31st, 2019, I will have lost 20 pounds. It reminds you every day, this is a goal. I'm gonna get this goal. I'm gonna make this goal. This goal's gonna get done. We're gonna do this goal. This goal's gonna get taken care of. It reminds you over and over, day after day, 365 days of that year, so you know, hey, I've gotta get this 20 pounds ditched. It also sets your mind into thinking, uh, your subliminal mind into thinking, how can we lose these 20 pounds? So that's another great way to being able to achieve uh, hold on to that particular goal that you're wanting to wanting to achieve now the next way is a classic uh sticky notes grab some of those you know made by 3m uh, and write down what your goals are but don't just put them on your mirror uh, in the bathroom put them on the mirror in the bathroom put them on the wind uh, on the dash in your car put them beside the monitor in your at your office put them everywhere you're set and you end up having to look make sure you have a sticky note with your goal 
on there. If you've got 12 goals, which is a lot of goals, but if you've got 12 goals, then have 12 sticky notes lined up right there. If you're driving, uh, driving a car, then it will cross the top of your dash. You know, you've got 12 different goals stuck up onto, the, onto your dash with, uh, with sticky notes. Another good goal, uh, way to achieve goals is, um, especially if you've got a financial goal. Say, I need to save up uh, $1,500 for, uh, for a, a conference. Okay, one way you can do that is um, actually use Dave Ramsey's uh, envelope approach. If you don't know of his envelope system, basically what it is is you're set up, you set up your budget by actually taking your physical money that you have, that you got paid, and taking it and putting it into envelopes so that your, uh, if you've only got $150 for food, well, once that envelope is empty, guess what you don't get? You don't get food. So this actually also helps out so that you know every month I need to put in $25 to be able to get to my to, to get to my con the conference I want to go to um, so you know hey I've got to put $25 in here and you save that money up and it's you're not going to earn any interest or anything but you're saving that money up so you've got that manila envelope with uh, Christmas vacation written on it and uh, it says on there it says you need uh, $2,500 so you're you now know that you have to save you know however much money take $2,500 right, divided by 12 and you now know that by the time Christmas vacation rolls around you need to have you need to have put in you know $250 or whatever it is that'll get you 200 uh, yeah, well we'll say in 10 10 months <laughs> I could do that math um, in uh, 10 months if you put $250 in that envelope every month you will have the $2,500 it takes to be able to go on your Christmas vacation so Try that out. That might actually help you out quite a bit. All right. Now, the last one is borrowing from the Sprint envelope, uh, the Sprint system also, because it doesn't. Ha you don't have to just lay out your plans just strictly, uh, strictly for the the Sprint goal system. You can also set out the plans when you are uh, when you are wanting to actually make a when you have a smart goal. You can decide, and that actually helps you out so that you're actually writing down, hey, how am I going to do this? Well, first off, I need A, then I need B, then C, then once I've got those together, I can accomplish D, which will lead to E, where eventually my I will be able to have enough momentum to jump high enough to get to F, and once I have F, I've got my G. So you can lay out a, a road map with mile markers so that you know where it is that and where how far uh, ahead or behind you are on your goal so try using uh making out a plan sit down that's one reason why i wanted you to write it make out your goals back in december so that you had a plan you could sit there and go well this is how i'm going to get a b and t and d and e f taken care of so once you have all that done you are uh, it'll be a lot easier because you now will once you get uh once you get A done, you know that you have to do these particular steps to be able to get B. And so when you look at your goals and you're going, well, what do I need to do now? You know, oh, I've got to work on B. Um, or I got to, uh, C's just kicking my tail. How am I going to get this done? And you can actually focus in and make those little bitty baby steps to uh, accomplish what you're actually wanting. So anyhow, there you go, folks. There are five different ways that you're able to actually accomplish your goals for the coming this year. So take that take one take them all take how whichever ones or if you have any other neat little system mention it down in the comments section if you are new to this video or new to this channel then please take the time to actually click the subscribe and it, it helped me out tremendously share this video out with your friends uh if you know someone who is struggling with uh with actually having a um struggling with actually uh setting and achieving goals um, like to be able to help everybody that I possibly can. So anyhow, there you go. We've, uh, we've got that uh, in the books, and we will catch you next week. Till then, bye.